I think there's a lot of confusion around what we mean when we say energy transition. So I wonder if you could just start by what does it mean for you? Where do you focus within the transition? How do you define that overall? Maybe I would focus on a couple of things. One is intermittency and one is distribution, right? So obviously on the, the intermittency side, because it's not always windy, it's not always sunny, they're free, but they're not working all the time. I think battery storage is one area we focus on yes. quite a bit. It really is going to enable the uh, kind of ability to have renewable power available 24-7. So that's one side of it. And then on the, the distribution side, it's very much grid capacity, kind of critical. Um, so there is, you know, and then decentralizing. It's you know hard to kind of decarbonize parts of the economy uh, that are remote, you know, demand centers, and so the decentralization of energy uh, delivery, um, also very important to invest in. The other thing I would talk about is um, sort of the supply versus demand sides, and this is where we go yes. back to kind of Schroeder is a very large asset manager that does engage with the companies that we hold. So on one hand, we're trying to engage with the demand side and kind of in encourage that corporate decarbonization. And the more that the market um, rewards companies for becoming less emissions intensive, again, like the across the economy companies, not the suppliers, the less we're just kind of beating up the suppliers of conventional energy and saying you should sort of take it on the chin mm. and stop producing, even though your customers still want what you have. So that's, that's a challenging discussion. Um, but again, we're kind of doing that on the demand side. And then on, on the supply side, we, we have an engagement program with a thousand you know, companies that we hold um, through the next you know, number of years. And all of our PMs and analysts, 170 people, are really actively engaged in that process and working through kind of where their future capex is going and, again, how they're making those, those changes. And they are focused on, again, sort of grid, grid building and, and battery and uh, green hydrogen and all the things I'm sure we'll touch on in this panel. So those are some of the key areas.